How about some relaxed card making? Forget the fuss, knowing blending or choosing loads of supplies, nothing exhausting, just having some serious crafting fun. I can imagine that you're all for that, so let's get to it then. Today I'm going to uh, play around with uh, paper elements and they have glitter this time, so that's really cool. And here let me show you that glitter, there are lots of different options as in all the paper elements pads. And I'm also going to work with the arty paper pads. So I have a few cards with double sided adhesive on them. First I'm going to pick a few papers that I think that are fun to play around with. And when I pick my papers I just uh, go with my feelings, something that appeals to me, colors that I like or shapes that I like. And it can differ from day to day, it depends all on the mood that you're in. When you're crafting well always happy when you're crafting of course and i'm going to start with this lovely lady with flowers and now i check what the best place is to add my card because my card is smaller than the paper of course but you can also use this paper as a whole for, to make a big card or you can use it in your art journal and those are also great options. So I'm going to trim off the excess bits of the paper. You can use that paper again on another project, of course. So now I'm going to pick a few of those elements from the paper pad. I'm just going to pick a bunch of the shape that will work well with my flower girl. Now while you see me pick some colorful elements to add to my card, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you don't miss a thing. And you can build on the elements that are already on the paper or you can add different layers uh, when you are more picking elements to build on the design that's already on your card or on your paper, then you can sort of enhance that look and add a bit of dimension as well. So once I'm done picking all the elements, I'm just going to glue them to my card. I've added a little heart on the heart that she already had on her cheek. And this will add a bit of dimension, which is always cool. Then I'm going to add some details with a white pen. And this week will make the elements pop a bit more, as well as you make the design a bit more your own, just to give it your own touch. With adding some white here and there, it will also help the design come to life a bit more. And I'm working with just a few of the products of the new line by Art by Marlene. I know a lot of you love Art by Marlene and are big fans. So, And in case you want to see the new collection and see what Marlene has been up to, I have a link in the description box below so you can check that out if you like. Now I'm going to make two at once. So I tear the bottom part of the paper and I have two cards with double sided adhesive on them. I peel away a bit of that backing and then add my layer. And of course I could have picked a big piece <laughs> where my paper just fit on or add some tape to the back of those cards so they stay together. And I don't have to be a bit fussy about it, but I had two cards so I went that way. But that doesn't mean that you have to do that too. And then I'm going to tear a few more pieces and I'm going to add them to my card. And this will add a bit of texture on your card. So once I've added all the layers, I trimmed off the excess bits and I cut them apart so they were two cards again. Then I'm going to pick a bunch of elements again. Before I'm going to add the elements, I'm adding some white ink on my desk and I'm going to make a few splats. This will help uh, bring that background come to life as well. A little bit of white can make a big difference. I'm using Amsterdam ink that comes in a bottle with a dropper so it makes it easy to apply it to my desk and dilute it a little bit with water but you can also go for paint or gesso, that will work as well. Then I'm going to glue all the pieces in place and this again is some fun layering, moving the pieces around a little bit. When you use glue, you can still move them around a little bit. And this is always a fun part to see where you like all your elements to make the design come together. I add some white details again. So to make sure that the cat is not uh, floating around in, in the space or it looks like he's a giant cat in front of those tiny houses. I'm adding him on, I think it's a cup or something. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it doesn't matter. I just add it upside down and then the cat can sit on it and then it just looks like he's a normal sized cat with a Christmas sort of hat on. <laughs> so bringing him into the foreground a bit more. I'm adding some white details again to make the pieces pop and it will also help to bring the thing that he's sitting on a bit more to the foreground so it's more visible as well. And there you have two winter Christmas spacious scene card ideas. 
for the fourth card I've added a piece of paper to my card already and then I have the paper with the butterfly and I cut off half and then I fussy cut the wings and even though I'm fussy cutting I'm not being fussy about it I just roughly cut out the wings so I have a little bit of space around the wings I've picked a bunch of elements for a fun layered card with lots of details now this is completely fantasy, so I'm going to add some really fun elements that don't belong to each other at all and turn it into a very colorful design. I'm cutting up the cloud in two pieces so I can use them on both sides of the butterfly wings. I always think it's fun and a bit frugal to reuse those pieces that are hidden under other pieces because, well, they're hidden there so you don't see them anyway. So why not just use them on another part of your car to make the design even more colorful and interesting. I've added a princess, let's call her a princess. I've added some foam to the back to make her pop and give her some extra dimension. And then I glue her in place as well. I love this white pen for adding some details because it never lets me down. It always writes when I want it to, except for one time. I have to be honest, one time it didn't, but then I discovered that it was empty, so <laughs> I had to buy a new one. But otherwise, when there's ink in it, it will always write. And there you go, another card done. Now that was easy and relaxed, wasn't it? You can watch another video if you're up for that. I have one right here. Or you can just get to it and make sure that you always keep on crafting.